Well, guys, it launched yesterday, and I know many of you will be happy it did, but I remain sceptical it's just going to end up the BBC 2.0. Some of the crap their staff have been posting on Twitter suggests as much if you ask me. Many seem to be pro-lockdown, pro-government restrictions, so it's certainly not looking good on that front. Now, obviously, we'll have to see what happens with that as time goes on. I guess they did actually question the benefits of lockdown yesterday, at least. Today, though, we're going to focus on the older media companies who are clearly very salty. GB News is even a thing, and the figures suggesting GB News had more viewers on its first night than the BBC or Sky News is probably not helping that. This is obviously a massive slap in the face to the BBC and to a lesser degree Sky News. Of course, it should be said it's opening night which could attract unusual viewing numbers, but to beat them at all is still an achievement on its own. Of course, if they continue this and don't end up becoming the mainstream media 2.0, the people might actually have some half-decent news coverage in the future. Obviously, as I said, I remain sceptical, but they are triggering all the right snivelling shit weasels, so for now we'll bathe in the never-ending sea of salty tears surrounding GB News. Some are running around saying they will boycott companies advertising on there, which obviously will put them right in the shit because it's most companies these people likely use often that have paid for ads on GB News, likely anticipating that it's going to be a very popular news channel with people who are sick of the BBC Sky News Channel 4 and the rest of their bullshit that we put up with for years. But essentially what we're seeing on the internet is the usual bullshit we see when the perpetually offended tosspots decide that they don't like something. Often companies fold to this vocal 0.1%, but this time I don't think it's gonna happen. GB News is a mainstream media organisation, let's never forget this. They might not be quite as woke and may question a bit more than the rest of them do, but they will obviously have limits and pretty tight ones at that. This is why pushing for an ad boycott is not really going to get them anywhere and instead will just give us something to take the piss out of. Now on top of all this, GB News is actually taking the BBC to Ofcom for an attempt to block them from the broadcasting pool, showing just how scared the BBC must really be. That licence fee is getting closer and closer to the scrap heap where it belongs if you ask me. Let's hope I am right on that one and GB News can help send them into the shitter. Even if they are just a mainstream media 2.0, the BBC has had its time and it's betrayed the people enough already. Now guys, remember to check out my website that's linked down below if you have not already. You can sign up for free, chat to me and other viewers and much, much more. There will be extra things added to the website as time goes on. I'm still working on it as we speak.